Now, I'm not one to gossip, but I will bring you the tea. Welcome to Chronicle Speaks. Please, please, I don't have any time for any gossip now. Mm -hmm. Eh? Yes. Look at you. So, earlier this summer, Dwight Howard was accused of having a threesome with a man he met on Instagram. And according to the man, he had only come to see Dwight. And the extra guest that was a man that goes by the name of Kitty was not supposed to be there. Now, Stephen, who was the man that is suing Dwight Howard, is accusing him of assault, battery, intentionally inflicting emotional distress, and false imprisonment. Dwight admitted to having a threesome with both men, but he said everything was completely consensual. We are going to get into the court documents like you know we do. Before we get into this, please be sure to subscribe to this channel and hit the bell for notifications so you don't miss out on any news regarding this case and so much more. Now let's get back into it. Now just in case you're wondering, this wouldn't be the first time that Dwight Howard found himself in a scandal of this magnitude. Back in 2018, Messine Elige, a transgender woman, claimed that they dated and had sexual intercourse. After the claims were made public, Dwight Howard vehemently not only claimed to not know Messine, but also denied being gay altogether. And it, it upset me because I didn't even know who the person was. I'm like, why would somebody who I've never met, never had any contact with, make up a whole story about me? And so that situation made me realize, you're not like this, but just be you, be free. Meaning you're it's, not gay. I'm, yeah, I'm not gay. Fast forward to 2021 when Dwight Howard was approached by Stephen Harper on Instagram. Stephen sent videos and pictures to Dwight Howard, and Dwight Howard wanted to see what it was like. So he invited Stephen over. They ended up having a threesome, but according to Stefan, it wasn't consensual. Let's take a look at the documents and find out what exactly happened. Get your children out of the room now, because I'm going to tell you, this is the most explicit thing I have ever read on my channel. Viewer discretion is advised. On or about May 29, 2021, Mr. Harper, using his secondary Instagram account, sent his cell phone number to defendant's verified Instagram account via direct message, the initial message. A true and accurate copy of the initial message is attached here on two and incorporated herein as Exhibit A. On or about May 29, 2021, defendant responded to Mr. Harper's Instagram message by sending Mr. Harper a text message of a devil emoji. The response message, a true and accurate copy Copy of the response message is attached here unto and incorporated herein as Exhibit B. Following receipt of the response message, Mr. Harper and defendant began to converse via text message. During their text conversations, defendant asked Mr. Harper whom he was messaging, which Mr. Harper responded by providing his name and sending defendant his main Instagram account information, the primary account. After viewing Mr. Harper's primary account, defendant indicated that defendant was waiting on Mr. Harper to send pictures. This is incorporated in Exhibit C. Defendant informed Mr. Harper that he was into freaky sexual content and that he wanted to see Mr. Harper's nude and cum shots. This is all incorporated in Exhibit D. As their correspondence continued, both defendant and Mr. Harper expressed an interest in meeting up with each other in Atlanta over the summer while defendant was on break from basketball. From May of 2021 through July of 2021, Mr. Harper and defendant continued to exchange text messages, several of which included sexually explicit content such as photographs and videos. On July 19, 2021, defendant contacted Mr. Harper and stated that he was thinking about the meat and the defendant wanted Mr. Harper to come to his residence. This is all incorporated in Exhibit E. Defendant informed Mr. Harper that defendant's son was asleep, that defendant was alone, and that Mr. Harper would have to leave before everyone woke up. This is all incorporated in Exhibit E. On July 19, 2021, Mr. Harper obtained a ride to defendant's residence via Uber. This is all incorporated in Exhibit F. While Mr. Harper was on the way to defendant's house, defendant texted and asked whether Mr. Harper wanted to have a threesome with either a dude or a girl. This is all incorporated in Exhibit G. Mr. Harper did not wish to engage in a threesome. Defendant instructed Mr. Harper to have the Uber driver pull all the way around and drop Mr. Harper off at defendant's car garage. Defendant met Mr. Mr. Harper outside and invited Mr. Harper in. 
Once they were in defendant's bedroom, Mr. Harper and defendant got into defendant's bed, removed their clothing, and engaged in consensual kissing. Approximately 40 minutes later, Mr. Harper and defendant began to talk and learn more about one another's personal lives, but defendant steered the conversation back to one of a sexual nature. A little later, while defendant and Mr. Harper were watching a movie, Mr. Harper noticed that defendant was messaging with someone on his cell phone. Shortly thereafter, defendant received a notification on his phone, quickly got dressed, and informed Mr. Harper that he would be back shortly because his friend just arrived. Until then, Mr. Harper was not aware the defendant was expecting any visitors. Approximately 10 minutes later, defendant returned to his room with another individual, a man dressed as a woman who went by the name Kitty. Kitty went into the bathroom, during which time Mr. Harper began questioning defendant about who Kitty was and why Kitty was at defendant's house. Defendant told Mr. Harper that Kitty was a friend defendant has threesomes with every now and then. Mr. Harper immediately informed defendant that Mr. Harper did not come to defendant's house for a threesome and was not going to engage in a threesome with defendant and Kitty. Mr. Harper suggested that he should leave defendant's house, but defendant assured Mr. Harper that he would not have to participate in a threesome and convinced Mr. Harper to stay. Kitty returned from the bathroom to defendant's bedroom and turned on a nasty flick. Defendant and Kitty began to undress one another and Kitty began performing certain services on defendant in front of Mr. Harper. Mr. Harper was uncomfortable but attempted to remain calm. While receiving certain services from Kitty, defendant began to rub Mr. Harper's thigh and stroke Mr. Harper's area through his under Underwear. Mr. Harper immediately looked at defendant, shook his head no, and also verbally stated no to defendant's sexual advances. Despite being told no by Mr. Harper, defendant continued stroking Mr. Harper's area while mouthing, come on, come on, to Mr. Harper. Mr. Harper grabbed defendant's hand and sternly said, no, I'm good, stop. Defendant became angry, snatched his hand away from Mr. Harper, and aggressively stated that Mr. Harper was going to do whatever defendant told him to do and that Mr. Harper was going to like it. Mr. Harper became terrified because he realized he was confined within defendant's bedroom with defendant and Kitty, both of whom were much larger than Mr. Harper. Mr. Harper was trapped in defendant's bedroom and believed that he would suffer imminent bodily harm if he resisted defendant's sexual advances. Defendant stood up, towering over Mr. Harper, grabbed Mr. Harper by the thighs, forcibly removed Mr. Harper's underwear, held Mr. Harper down and performed non-consensual some kind of sex on Mr. Harper. Mr. Harper was in fear of imminent bodily harm when he was pinned down and forced to remain in place while defendant continued to assault him. Defendant stopped this assault only when he realized that Mr. Harper was not sexually aroused by defendant's actions. Defendant became angrier and aggressively ordered Mr. Harper to get into defendant's bed. In shock and in fear of imminent bodily harm, Mr. Harper complied with defendant's demands. Defendant laid on his left side facing the plaintiff while leaving his naked posterior facing the edge of the bed. Kitty proceeded to do something to the defendant while the defendant grabbed Mr. Harper's head and shoved his head on certain areas of the defendant. Mr. Harper had to perform certain services on the defendant until the defendant climaxed. Immediately after the defendant had finished, Mr. Harper grabbed his cell phone and clothing and ran into the bathroom to get dressed and order an Uber ride home. Mr. Harper felt extremely violated and humiliated and was in complete shock. Meanwhile, the defendant entered the bathroom and acted as if something awful did not just transpire between them. Mr. Harper informed the defendant that an Uber was on the way and requested that the defendant let Mr. Harper out of the bathroom so he could go outside to wait for his Uber. The defendant refused to let Mr. Harper out, restricting his movement and confining him to the bathroom. Defendant demanded that Mr. Harper cancel the Uber. In total fear for his safety, Mr. Harper canceled the Uber. Defendant informed Mr. Harper that Kitty would be driving Mr. Harper home. Once Mr. Harper gave in to defendant's demand that Kitty drive him home, Mr. Harper was finally permitted to leave defendant's residence. Mr. Howard is being accused of assault, battery, intentional infliction of emotional distress, false imprisonment, and he wants punitive damages as well as litigation and attorney fees and expenses. And he is also requesting a jury trial. Now, a few things about this case we're going to get into. His attorney is Olga. It's Milova. Olga also represented Masine Alige in his case against Dwight Howard. And he went to try to appeal the judge's decision. So I just wanted to give you guys that fun fact. Let's get into these text messages. So the text messages start with Stephen giving Dwight his phone number. Then Dwight ends up responding with a demon emoji. And then Stephen says, sup, sexy. And then Dwight says, nothing, you? Stephen says, shit, just start my day off, about to shower in a few. Dwight put the googly eyes. And then Stephen said, I got you with the tongue out. Stephen says, what you have planned for today? Dwight says, you and ATL, we play today. 
Steven says, yeah, I stay at ATL. Been doing some modeling here in Chicago. What about you? And word, that's what's up. Good luck, sexy. Dwight says, ATL in Philly. Thank you. Steven says, got you. I'll be in New York next month, but should be back in Atlanta after that. Dwight says, okay, that's what's up. So later messages, Steven says, not sure when you're free, but would like to link. And Dwight says, who am I talking to? Steven says, I'm Steven, my bad. And he gives his Instagram. Dwight likes it. And Steven says, thoughts, laugh out loud. Dwight said, I was waiting on you to send pictures. I was waiting. Steven says, okay, laughing. I got you. Dwight says, I want more. Steven says, I got you, Poppy. Also, what are you into? You like freaky shit? Dwight says, yes, I'm into freaky shit. Dwight continues by saying that I want you to know that I'm not like gay or anything. I'm just a little nasty. Sometimes I don't want to offend you. Then he liked the movie and an image and another image and another image and another image. And then Steven says, yes, I understand sexy. We grown. I'm not offended at all. Dwight sends the drooling emoji and says, let me see your eggplant. And then Steven says, bet. And he sends a video. And then he sends his tongue out. And then Dwight says, damn, with the drooling emoji. Steven sends a little sly smile. And then Dwight says, you have any cum shots slap out loud? He says, I don't. I can make you some personal ones, though. He says, I want to see your eggplant. Then he said, I got you sexy. And then he sends another video. And Dwight sends the drooling emoji again. Then he sends demon time. He says, what's up, sexy? And Dwight says, what you doing? He said, was helping my sister cook. Just chilling. Now what you doing, babe? He says, thinking about that meat. Steven says, you trouble. Dwight says, laugh out loud. Oops, I want it. Steven says, when? Dwight says, now laugh out loud. And Steven says, who all over there? I don't want to raise no eyebrows. Dwight says, nobody. My son in his bed. Steven says, okay, perfect. Dwight says, you would just have to leave before everyone wakes up. And then Steven says, okay, you going to be up? You know I'm an hour away. I'll come. Dwight says, yeah. Steven says, bet, let me get ready. He says, okay. Then he sticks his tongue out and sends the eggplant emoji. That's Dwight. Now we have a picture of the Uber receipt dropping Stefan off at 121 right to Dwight's doorstep. Now going back to the text messages, Steven says, I'm almost ready, about to be on the way. And Dwight says, okay. Steven says, on my way. And then Steven says, the address you sent me, right? Dwight says, yes. Steven says, bet. Dwight says, you want to have a threesome? And then he's got a face like, uh, you know, do you want to do it? And then Steven says, with who? Laugh out loud. And is this what you want? And then Dwight says, a dude. Laugh out loud. Or a girl. Laugh out loud. Then Dwight says, they can't come till after four. And then Steven says, I'm already 30 minutes away. Laugh out loud. Now, I feel like that's where Steven messed up. If you were not into it, you should have told him no. Don't bring your friend over. Because if he said they can't come till 4, he said I'm already on my way. It's not saying that he was against it. Considering he said his friend could not come until 4, you did not tell him not to bring his friend. You asked him if a threesome was something he would like. You laughed about it and you never told him that that was something that you didn't want to do. Although it may not have been something you wanted to do. We don't see that in text. I don't know what happened within that home. But at this point, it's Dwight's word against yours and yours against Dwight. Now, Dwight is admitting to having his friend Kitty come over. He's admitting to having this guy come over. He's admitting to all of them having sex together. But he is saying that everything was consensual. He would not do anything outside of what Kitty and Steven wanted him to do. Dwight believes that this is a complete money grab and he wants it thrown out of court. We're going to have to see how it goes down. However, if somebody hits you up in your Instagram and you are a celebrity, why do you have a random person coming to your home where your son is sleep at? You don't know this man, this man doesn't know you. Why would you do that, Dwight? Child, I don't even know what's going to happen with this situation, but I have a feeling you're going to tell me about it down in the comments below. You know how we do, y'all. Leave a comment, and we'll talk about it down below. Talk to you guys later. Bye. As always, thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and hit that bell so you don't miss any of my new episodes.